Welcome back. You're still watching Metro File. And if you've just joined us, you have missed a lot already. But don't worry, there is more for you. Family, friends and well-wishers came to say their final goodbyes to the late Chief H.T. Okoka, Senior Advocate of Nigeria. The final funeral rites for Chief H.T. Okoka, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, moved to the City Hall on Lagos Island, his birthplace, after the valedictory session at the Lagos High Court for the Christian Wake. Traditional drummers from Lagos welcomed family, friends and guests, including the representatives of the Oba of Lagos to the service. And shortly after the widow, children and grandchildren entered the hall, the service started in earnest. For the kingdom of God is not eating and drinking, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. The service of songs which had Bible lessons read by one of the children and two of the grandchildren also had family members eulogize late Chief H.T.O. Coker. My father was very special and he was a man of many, many different parts. He meant very many different things to many different people. But I know he was much loved. With all your presence here, we can feel all your love. And I just hope and I pray that he will rest in perfect peace. And then there was the solo. The Lagos City Choral rounded off the service attended by dignitaries, including a former head of state, Chief Ernest Shonekon. Well, less than 24 hours later, the family of late Chief Henry Theodore Okiade Koka gathered for the Lion State at his Victoria Island residence in Lagos. Most especially, Lord, we thank you for Jesus. In his death, in his resurrection, in his ascension, he has opened to us the gate of immortality, the possibility of eternal life in fellowship with, with you and with the saints in life. It is in this confidence that we come to say farewell. Jesus the lying in state was followed immediately by the funeral service held at the Methodist Church of the Trinity, Tenubu Square, Lagos. Present at the church service were friends, associates and other well-wishers, 
including Chief Chris Ogumbanjo, Emeka Anyoku, Chief Akintola Williams, Chief Maiden Ibro, and Chief Olushegun Oshunkeya. In his sermon, Right Reverend STV Adegbite extolled the personality of late Chief H.T.O. Koka. I went to the hospital that night and I saw him. I looked at him and I was told, it's not me talking. I said, oh, wow. And I said, I'm going to give him communion. And I gave the communion to him. And before, after I gave communion to him, I asked him, can you confess Jesus as the Lord and Savior? And he did. And I prayed with him for two minutes. He responded. So we are happy that he is now resting with the Lord. Then it was thanksgiving by the family of the late chief. The service over, the body of the deceased was interred at the Ikoyi Cemetery. After the interment, Guests and well-wishers were entertained. And this is what some family members have to say about their beloved patriarch. I'm going to miss the fact that my dad, you know, even if you had a discussion with him, he'd always listen. He would always make, make out as if whatever you were saying was so important. He'd always listen and he always respected your views. And I'm going, to, I'm going to miss that. What I will miss most about him is the way that he knew, the way that he knew um, an answer to even the tiniest of problems. Problems. Obviously, I'm sad today, but I'm just trying today. Now I'm trying to celebrate um, his life. He was a very charismatic, friendly man, and he loved to make people laugh, and he loved to, you know, be around people. He was a people person. I feel sad, obviously, that he's gone, but I think this was a good day because I learned more about him. Chief Henry Theodore Okiade Koka, S-A-N-O-O-N-F-R-S-A, -O -O -S popularly known as OK, was born in Lagos on the 6th of November 1929 to late George Baptist Koka and late Mary Talabi Koka, Nee Williams. His father was the first Ashuaju of Lagos. Late Chief Koka attended Olowogbowo Methodist Church for his primary education and Eco Boys High School, then at Ajele Street, Lagos, for his secondary education from 1944 to 1950. He later proceeded to the United Kingdom to study law at the University College London, where he obtained his LLB Honours Degree in 1960. He was called to the English Bar in 1960 and admitted to the Nigerian Bar in 1961. He married Mrs. Virginia Obafunke Koka Ni Akerele in December 1960 in London. The marriage is blessed with four children. H.T.O. Koka, a legal luminary, trained a lot of his associates who went on to become top professionals in various fields of law, 
including Mr. Larry Ogunlesi, S.A.N. He was conferred with the title of Agba Ofin of Lagos and awarded the Officer of the Order of the Niger, O.O.N. Chief H.T.O. Koker died peacefully on Thursday, the 21st of May this year. He was aged 85. May his gentle soul rest in perfect peace as we wish his family well. All right, on that note, we draw the cuttings on Metro File for today. I'll see you again in just a few days. But in the meantime, remember that you can watch this again and past editions via a YouTube channel. That's youtube.com forward slash channels web. And you can also follow me on Twitter. My handle is running right on your screen. Thank you so much for being a part of the show. I'm Anne Wawadu. I'll catch you again soon.